gentleman yields back. Our member seeking recognition. Recognized gentleman from Pennsylvania, Dr. Murphy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. As uh, Chairman Oversight Investigation, I want to put a few things on the record of hearings we have had on this issue. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, make sure we have on the record that when the previous bill, uh, the Affordable Care Act, was presented before us, it changed considerably. And the bills that we did actually have our House uh, floor bypassed much of this process. But on Monday, March 6, 2017, we released a compendium of all of our oversight conducted by our committee since the law passed. It's been over the last six years. We compiled its entirety for the first time. It exposed a lot of serious deficiencies in Obamacare or Affordable Care Act that, that have actually harmed the American people and wasted taxpayer dollars. It's paved the way to this legislation today. We have had over 31 oversight hearings on the Affordable Care Act. The Subcommittee on Oversight Investigation convened 18 hearings. The Subcommittee on Health convened nine hearings in addition to legislative hearings. The ONI and Health Subcommittees convened one joint hearing. The full committee convened three hearings. There was 107 witnesses that testified before the committee and 38 witnesses were administration officials. The committee released five investigative reports in the 114th Congress, including 59 findings and nine recommendations. The, committee most notable, the committee's most notable oversight topics included one, the administration's decision to fund the cost sharing reduction programs on the basic health program without a lawful appropriation. Two, the failed launch of healthcare.gov and mismanagement of the information technology systems by HHS and its component agencies. Three, the failure of four out of 17 state-based exchanges and the misuse of federal grant money in the creation and operations of state-based exchanges. And four, the closure of 22 out of 28 co-ops, that is the consumer operated and oriented plan created by the Affordable Care Act and the associated loss of $2 billion in taxpayer dollars. The committee's Democrat members have long criticized the committee for the number of oversight hearings and investigations conducted by the committee and asked that we not hold more. But these investigations serve the essential function of creating a public record that clearly documents the serious problems and deficiencies that exist in Obamacare and its implementation. And I might add, many times I heard our friends on the other side saying they recognized there were problems with the Affordable Care Act and asked to work with us overcome some of these problems. Most recently, the Democrat members have criticized Republicans for a, quote, lack of transparency, unquote, into plans to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. But the foundation for the committee's repeal and replace plans can be found in the thousands of pages of transcripts and hundreds of hours of testimony for the methodical and systematic oversight conducted by our committee. And uh, does the health chairman have any other comments on that? I'll yield to uh, Dr. Burgess, uh, chairman of the health subcommittee.